Hey everyone! Welcome back to Bloomer's Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning how to use our new clothing and body customization menus. First things first, we'll start with the body menu. To get into the body menu, just click on the body icon in our UI toolbar and that opens up the body menu. And here you can see all the skins that you have, and there will also be textures and eyes and other things once they are available in World, and they will be in this menu. These are the slots that you'll fill with the skins that you want to wear. This line indicates the inner layer, closest to the inside, and the outer layer, furthest from the inside. The important thing about this to know is that if there is a skin on the inner layer and another skin closer to the outer layer, the skin on the outer layer will show up over top of the inner layer skin, so you won't see it. So be sure to put the skin you want people to see as the outermost skin layer. If you put a body on the inner layer and a skin over top of it, you'll still see both since they are two different things. You don't have to wear any skins, you can take everything off and revert back to the default avatar if you want to. Or you can put a body on, just drag it into the slot that you want. This is the Blair Moxie body, and it also comes with skin. But if you drag a skin on top of it, you will see that skin. And if I drag another skin on top of that skin, you can see that the outermost skin is the one that is going to show up. You can fill up the slots if you want, with eyes or different textures, so that's the body menu. Next up, let's look at the clothing menu. You enter the clothing menu by clicking on the clothing icon in your UI toolbar. This will bring up your inventory. Now we have pictures, so it's a lot easier to find things. Here are the categories, hair, outerwear upper body, innerwear, outerwear lower body, footwear, and accessories. You have 10 slots you can fill with any items you like, so there is no limit to the number of accessories you can now put on. It's a big improvement on our old menu. The category of item is actually decided by developers when they make the item and upload it, so we don't actually decide which items are placed in which categories. It's up to the clothing developer. This line indicates which slot is closest to and furthest away from the body. The great thing about this is that it really helps with the skin penetration issue we were having before. More about that in a minute. As you know, there are a few layers you can't take off. Females must wear an innerwear top and an innerwear bottom at all times. And males must wear an innerwear bottom at all times. So to change that out, you have to drag in something first before you can take it out because you have to be wearing one of those items. Another good thing to mention is that nobody can see you while you're in the clothing menu. So you can change your clothes and your changes won't show up until you close the clothing menu. So you won't be standing in the welcome area in your underwear, in case you were wondering about that. Let's just play around with this for a while. I'll take my shoes off. If you want to add something, just drag it on, and to remove something, just drag it off. I'll put on these and put on a top. Now you can see here that there is some issue with penetration between the bottoms and the top. So the good thing about this menu is that the engine renders clothing items in the bottom slots further away from the body. So by moving the outer layer down away from the body and the inner layer up towards the body, it can really help with the penetration issue. You have a bunch of slots now, so you can fill them up with anything you want. Thanks for tuning in to our body and clothing customization menu tutorial. For more information and other tutorials, visit our tutorials page at www.bluemars.com.